right, so it's Monday, and we're here today on a tree job. There's high winds this week, and uh, I'm gonna get some lumber from this, so let's start cleaning this place up. Yeah, that one was pretty stuck up there. It's a nice balsam. That's what the original barge is made from. Let's trim it up. Alrighty, so we got it all cleared up. Got some logs. Gonna bring it home and uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we got more logs home. It was great, not bad. Uh, we got a bit of balsam, balsam fir, and a bit of cedar. That's awesome. Let's add it to the pile. It's getting pretty big now. Good pile. Pretty happy. Look at that. Awesome. Gonna get a couple more hemlocks and hopefully, hopefully I can get a pine, but uh, I really I really should get some more uh, hemlocks. That's the most important thing right now. So I think, uh, and maybe a couple more cedars, but yeah, hemlock is a number one priority right now. All right, so it's still nice today. So I think, take apart this guy, finally. I mean, that barge is free, that barge is free, and this guy's free. It's just that one has a nice sheet under it. I think by the end of this week, I'll be able to work on the little guy, but I gotta get this guy disassembled. Cause uh, yeah, it's time to do that. And there we have it. We got it split in two. We got one pontoon free. And the other one, well, I think we're gonna take some barrels out because uh, that barge is getting low on some corners and it needs some barrels replaced. I'm super impressed how well that floats upside down. So if the barges were ever to flip, I know they would float. That's actually pretty cool. That's amazing how well that floats. That's it for today. We're going to uh, stop. It's kind of cool. There's a mink over there. Say bye to Mr. Mink. And uh, that's gonna be it for the day. We're gonna get these guys attached hopefully uh, next week. On to it. Well, it's Tuesday and it's starting to snow. This is a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, there's quite a bit of snow. It's like we take one step forward and we take two step backwards. Oh well, we'll uh, have to wait till this melts. All right, so we're back at the swamp and uh, the tree's back there. There's a lot less snow. Unfortunately, it's snowing today, but I don't think it's gonna be there for very long. There's still a bit too much snow for me to get the ATV in there, but I think by the weekend, if it rains and it's warm enough, this should all be melted and uh, I should be able to have access to the logs back there. But I mean, it's still eh, a little bit, a little bit of snow, but it's not, not that bad. I think I'd be able to squeeze in and uh, get that tree, finally. I don't know if you guys can see that piece of ice moving, but I just moved that by hand. <laughs> That's huge. It just shows you how little energy it takes to move such a heavy mass. But anyways, I moved that ice block because it was blocking here before. And I want to get that barge right there, over there. So let's move it. Right, so just 
just like that we got the uh, barge in place be able to work on it tomorrow that barrel up front has to be changed uh, there's a barrel right there that has to be changed and i think that's it for the barrels that have to be changed but i also want to add one of those pontoons on the side on this side actually on the left side so yeah it's uh, not too heavy so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it let's uh let's head over to the shed all right, so we're back at the shed, and uh, as you can see, the logs still seem to be fine. I still want to get a lot more hemlock from the swamp, uh, but uh, like I mentioned before today, well, the snow is going to melt a bit more, and I'll be able to go get in the bush pretty soon uh, to pull some more hemlock out. Um, but apart from that, today I want to focus on cleaning up the outside of the shed, and uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to kind of clean up over there on that side of the property. Uh, because I am going to take delivery of a bunch of barrels tomorrow. So it's going to be the first batch of barrels uh, of drums, that is, kind of like what's behind there. Uh, and I just want to make sure that I have space uh, for it. And I also want to work on the mini work barge tomorrow. So with that said, I think I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you then. All right, guys, so it's Wednesday. It's still snowing just a tiny little bit, but it should warm up later today. My plan is... Uh, to go and get some barrels with the trailer and uh, get some boat parts to hopefully get a, a working boat uh, motor. So yeah, let's go and get those barrels. All right, and just like that, we took delivery of our first eight barrels of the season, which is awesome. Really, really excited to get these guys cleaned up and in use. So yeah, let's get these guys unloaded and we'll put them away over there. And uh, we also got a new uh, boat plug for this boat, so uh, we're going to install that too. Alright, so the new plug is installed and it should not leak anymore. Like that. It's actually pretty nice and sturdy in there, so we should test it. Alright, so apart from the water that's already in the boat from the snow melting, our uh, boat plug is not uh, letting any water in, which is great. So that is a job well done. Okay, so we got this Mercury 9.8 horsepower 1110 um, here, and I got some new spark plugs for it. I'm gonna give it a quick coat. It was seized earlier. Uh, it's got good spark, it's got decent compression. Don't know about the fuel, but anyways, I'm gonna clean it up, get the oil off of it, and then we'll get some gas in it and spark plugs and uh, give it a shot. Without cleaning the carburetor. Brown. I'm gonna get my respirator mask. All right, so I got the engine running somewhat decently well, but I still have to like find the fuel issue because I can run it on carb cleaner. It makes a lot of white smoke, um, but it's not like no, no, uh, no, how do I say it? No fuel is getting to it because it's still, you know, I, I think most of the oil is burnt up inside the cylinder, but I'll probably have to t take apart the fuel pump and see, uh, you know, if we're having a fuel delivery issue here. But uh, that's going to be for a later day because today I really want to focus with the nice weather to work on uh, the mini, mini barge and uh, get in the water and start uh, working on that. So let's go do that. All right, so there's a few things I wanna do here before I can install this pontoon onto the main work barge. The first thing I wanna do is get rid of any rusty straps. Now keep a note, I only put this in like last fall, so but I'm gonna change that out. I wanna make sure that this piece of wood here is super flat so I don't have any like, you know, hoses like this that I can't you know budge up uh, closely like I'm like when I go to connect this pontoon I'll explain like once once we kind of get in the water but basically we're gonna have angle iron on one side like an L like this and an L on the other side it's gonna bolt together and add it on there but I have to also change the barrels on that guy before I even think about putting this guy on it so with that said let's start working on this pontoon and then we're gonna remove some of the decking on that uh, So we 
got the decking off the uh, top of our mini work barge on the right side. Um, I have a feeling that that one has a leak in it. I don't know how it leaked, but I have a feeling it's because we sent a screw right into it. It's hard to tell if there's water or not in it. That one's empty. That one's empty. That one's empty. I guess the sound is, the pitch is a little bit different. So we'll take it out, need a screwdriver. So I wanna see if I can fit a bureau under here. All right, so it's eight o'clock. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I had a big day today of cutting steel. I didn't film any of it, but I was cutting brackets for for here. Um, but I will get back to this on Friday or maybe Thursday evening if the weather's good and I have time. But for now, I'm just watching this otter. Um, kind of just hang out. Been just kind of goofing around on the ice, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Been like a little cat or like a dog or something. Here's what I was talking about, the, uh, the steel that I've been cutting. But basically, it's gonna be two pieces of steel like this, two pieces of angle iron, with uh, a rod going across. That's gonna bolt the two pieces, the single pontoon, and the rest of the barge onto uh, the main structure. So I'll have to get two more of these cut, and I'll have to get drills, holes drilled in here, but uh, should be good. All right, so it's Thursday. And as you can see, it's raining heavily outside. However, this is good news because the snow is melted and I think I can actually get in the swamp now and go and get those logs. So I'll come back Saturday with my cousin, hopefully. And we're gonna try winch those logs out. So uh, anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so it's Friday. Today's goal is to work on the work barge, finally. It's been a little while, so. That barrel is definitely compromised. I can hear water coming out and I can also think that one is compromised as well. So we've got two barrels to replace, throw two more barrels under there and then add the other pontoon. Easier said than done. Let's do it. Right, guys, so it's Saturday and today we're back in the swamp with Matt and we're trying to pull out some logs out of the bush. We got quite the setup here uh, for pulling out logs. Hopefully nothing breaks, but we're gonna try and get at least two hemlocks out today uh, from this piece, so. Ready to keep going, Matt? Sure. All right, let's do it. Let's go! Woohoo! All right, we're getting this monster out with Matt. We've been winching at it for a little while. And it's coming, it's dragging a lot of swamp up, but uh, it's definitely coming. I mean, there's not many logs left on that guy, which is awesome. So I think we'll get maybe three or four logs uh, if we can get those out, but uh, really good progress. So we'll probably only get two out today, but these are huge. I mean, that's gotta be a, uh, you know, solid, uh, solid log right there. All right, we're gonna now try to winch up this monster up with our longest distance with the barrel. So it should work. But uh, here goes nothing. Alrighty guys, so we got them home. Two nice big hemlocks. They look rotten on the outside, but trust me, on the inside, they're pure gold. Look at that. Beauty. I got a couple more, but let's add it to the pile. Alright, so it's Sunday, and we're on our first dock job. I just attached this cable to this dock as it started floating away and I put a marker on it so hopefully the ice doesn't damage it anymore it's unfortunate that this happened this dock it's a really nice dock but uh, you can never you, know, you never know what happens with the ice so yeah that's it all right and we're at job two today we see that there's a uh, another dock that's floated away from the uh, crazy ice uh, damage we've been getting recently there's also someone else over there that has another damaged dock I believe so I think we're gonna have a lot of business this summer, so let's uh, get this one tied up so it doesn't float away, but it seems to still be connected to the ice sheet, so we'll see what the rope can do. And just like that, we got it tied up with some rope. 
Hopefully it doesn't float away too much, but uh, that's going to be it for this week. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.